Okay, I'm Pandu from the Red Closet Podcast. Mythological creatures are one of the stories that have been in the mind of every human being. Besides being told from generation to generation through legendary folklore, sometimes mythological creatures also come from history written in ancient times. One of the most frequently told mythological stories is that of Hydra, the five-headed monster. Hydra is told as a mythological creature from Greece which is quite often appointed to the small screen. He is often depicted as a savage monster that looks like a dragon that has our nine heads. Hydra is known as one of the enemies that Hercules must defeat in his mission to carry out the twelve tasks of the gods. So, in this episode I'm gonna talk about Hydra. Hydra is a draken in Greek mythology. This monster is in the form of a snake or dragon which has nine heads. Every time one of its heads is cut off, the head will grow, form one or two new heads. Hydra also has poisonous breath and blood. One of the uniqueness of the Hydra is its head that can grow back after being cut. As shown in the film Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the lightning thief. When the scene where Percy the son of the sea god, Poseidon, tries to cut off the Hydra's head to get a marble that serves as a teleportation tool to the underworld belonging to Hades, the god of death. According to ancient Greek legend, Hydra is a monster that lives in the swampy areas of Lake Lerna. This lake is in the Argolid region, it is believed that Hydra is a monster that guards the entrance to the underworld or the world of the dead and the surface. Besides being known as a very fierce and brutal animal, he is also believed to have a very deadly poison from his breath every time he steps. So dangerous, all plants will wither if passed by the Hydra. Even according to ancient Greek and Roman mythology, when Hydra came out of the cave where it lived, the entire community in the surrounding village would feel a very frightening terror. After killing the Nemean lion, the second task given to Hercules by Eurystheus was to kill Hydra. Hydra came out of its nest only to terrorize the surrounding settlements. After arriving at the Hydra's lair, namely the swamps near Lake Lerna, Hercules covered his mouth and nose with a cloth to protect him from the poisonous fumes. Hercules shot the Hydra's lair with fiery arrows. Hercules then confronted Hydra with a sickle, a sword or a club. But every time Hercules cut off one of the Hydra's heads, the other two would grow back. Hercules then realized that the Hydra had one immortal head. Hercules knew that he would not be able to defeat Hydra alone, so he asked his nephew Iolaus for help. Iolaus got the idea, possibly from the goddess Athena, that they should use a torch to burn Hydra's neck which had just been severed. That way the Hydra's head doesn't grow anymore. In another version, after cutting off each head, Heracles dipped his sword in blood and used it to burn each neck so that Hydra's head did not grow back. Seeing this, Hera sent a giant crab to distract Hercules. The crab was finally trampled to death by Hercules and the hero was back to face Hydra. After all his impermanent heads were cut off, Hercules cut off Hydra's immortal heads and buried him under a large rock on the road between Lerna and Eleos. Before leaving, Hercules first dipped all of his arrows in Hydra's blood so that now all of his arrows are poisonous. 
Hera then placed Hydra and giant crabs in the sky as the constellations Hydra and Cancer. After carrying out his duties, Hercules returned to Eurystheus but it turned out that Eurystheus refused the settlement because, according to him Hercules was assisted by Iolaus so that the task became invalid and the number of Hercules' duties still remained nine. Hercules later used Hydra's poisoned arrows to kill Nessos, a centaur who tried to rape Deonera, Hercules' wife. Hydra's poisonous blood then infected Ness's blood which in turn poisoned the clothes that Hercules would later wear and eventually killed the hero. Strabo and Pausanias reported that the stench in the river Anagros at Elis, which rendered the fish inedible there, was thought to have been caused by the poisonous blood of the Hydra emanating from the arrow used by Heracles to kill Nessos. Until now, the legend about the five-headed dragon is very popular all over the world. In fact, many mythological stories have been brought to the big screen and tell this story. For example in the film Hercules, Percy Jackson and in famous games such as the game God of War. In fact, many say that the legend of the eight-headed snake in Japan or Yamada no Orochi is a depiction of the figure of Hydra in Asia. Okay, that's all from Hydra story. If you have a request or suggestion, you can write it in the comment below. If you like this content, please share this video to your friends, your family, your girlfriend or boyfriend. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you all.